This video is sponsored by Vsauce 2's The Create Unknown Podcast. More about that in just a little bit. How's it going, you little strugglers? Um, I got a spicy one for you today. Pretty interesting topic, if I do say so myself. I looked all over the internet to see if anybody else was talking about this, because I see this all the time, but I haven't seen anyone talking about it. So I think we might be uh, we might be breaking new ground here. We might be the first ones to this top. Hold on, one second, just hold on. Sorry about that guys, just a little bit of foreplay for you. Foreshadowing is what I meant to say, oh my god. <laughs> little Freudian slip. Ooh, no foreplay here, okay. So last summer, a very, very tragic thing happened and Toys R Us closed their doors. You could hear the tears from 90s kids all across the nation. Um, it was probably the saddest thing in modern history. More like Toys Were Us, am I right? <laughs> So Toys R Us closed, um, a lot of people were sad about it, and then I got recommended this video on YouTube, and it was called, Hey There Delilah, but it's played in an empty Toys R Us at 2.37 p.m. with moderate traffic outside. What a weirdly specific video title, I thought to myself. But of course, I was very intrigued, so I checked it out, and it is exactly that. It's just the song, Hey There Delilah, by the Plain White Tees, but it sounds like it's being played over the speaker system in an empty Toys R Us, and you can hear like cars driving in the background. It's this weird like atmospheric ASMR. I don't know, it was just something that I had never like seen before, but it like brought out these weird emotions in me that I, I wasn't expecting. Like the song, Hey There Delilah, probably wouldn't make me feel anything. You know, it's just kind of a song, but when I heard it in this other context, it, it, it damn near made me shed a tear. <laughs> so what I wanted to do was kind of go down the rabbit hole of this type of video, this style of music, and see kind of what other people think about it, what, what the hubbub is, because holy smokes, there are a lot of these on YouTube. The big thing that people do is they muffle the sound and they make it sound like you're in a bathroom at a party. That's the thing but you're in a bathroom at a party. Can't help falling in love, but you're in a bathroom at a party. Slow dancing in the dark, but you're in a bathroom at a party. I don't wanna be you anymore, but you're in a bathroom at a party, and so on and so forth until the end of time. So what I wanna do is I wanna look through some of these comments. Maybe we'll talk a little bit of science. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. And then of course at the end, I've got a song to show you as well. So just grab your red solo cup, um, lock yourself in a bathroom and Let's go on a little journey together. So one of the main things that I noticed that people will do in the comment sections of these videos is they'll come up with these fictional scenarios that are like overly sad, overly depressing. There are a lot of sad boys and sad girls in these comments, let's just say that. So here's some comments from the video of Elvis Presley's Can't Help Falling in Love, but you're in a bathroom at a party. Imagine you're at a school dance. The person you wanted to dance with all night is alone and you're about to ask them to dance when someone cuts in before you. God, it stings, I know the feeling. The very last song, of course someone had to take them. You hide in the bathroom, upset with yourself, imagining them dancing as you dance alone in the handicapped stall. You had me until dance alone in the handicapped stall. I could see it if it was like club music playing outside maybe. But like, are you gonna slow dance with yourself in the handicap stall to an Elvis song? <laughs> this one isn't a scenario, it's just really sad. My boyfriend just broke up with me today, the day before Valentine's, and he already has a new GF. Holy smokes, he moved on quick. I mean, that's really sad, but subscribe to PewDiePie, you know? This comment is actually written in Spanish. Um, I don't speak Spanish, so I ran it through Google Translate and Honestly, what the f***? My face was cleaned, my teeth are perfect, humanity was saved, and I'm still in the bathroom instead of going to listen. I mean, same. <laughs> Honestly, can we just get a round of applause for the most relatable comment of the year? I mean, come on. These next two comments are on a video titled, She left you last minute at prom, so you're crying in a school bathroom while Mr. Brightside plays. I love how specific these are. I'm actually gonna act these two out because they're dialogue scenarios. Wow, I'm having a blast. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. You want to dance to the last song? Sure, I would love to. Ding, ding. Ah, oh, my friend, we promised to get sushi for celebration after final. Oh, I gotta go. Wait! I love you. <laughs> You're funny, but look on the bright side. You'll see me next week. 
Ooh, that was fun. And then here's the last one. And in my humble opinion, I think this one needs to be turned into a feature film. Hey, are you okay? Dude, she just dumped me <laughs> in front of everyone. It's okay, bro. We've all been there. Just get up and have some fun. Get up. Brava! Brava! Just such inspirational writing. What is the reason to like purposely make yourself feel sad? People do it all the time. I, I don't understand that. Well, you know what? I think it's science time. Let's look that up. Okay, so I found this article called Four Reasons We Listen to Sad Music When We're Sad. And what they say pretty much is that you listen to them for four main reasons. One reason is because you want to have a connection with these emotions that you're feeling. So like the music making you feel a certain way connects with your emotions that also make you feel that way. Another reason they say is because you wanna relate with the message of a song. So like, again, maybe there's a, a song about a breakup and you're going through that right now. So listening to that kind of helps you get through that a little bit. The next one it says is high aesthetic value and by golly, if that isn't just this generation in a nutshell, <laughs> everything we do is for high aesthetic value. Some people won't post a picture on their Instagram because it doesn't fit their color scheme or something. And then finally, it says that memory triggers are another reason why we would listen to something. So like you want to be brought back to a certain time or you want to be brought back to a certain emotion. And, but it also does say that that doesn't usually make people feel better. So maybe self-medicating with sad music isn't the best thing to do. All right. So that's just something that I thought was kind of interesting. It almost seems like a place where angsty teenagers can go and just kind of vent their feelings out. It's almost like a little mini therapy session and I don't see anything wrong with that. It actually seems kind of like a pretty, uh, pretty nice community. Everyone in there seems very supportive of one another and you know, it's just a wholesome place to be. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a song so emotional, so overly dramatic that it would be perfect for this type of aesthetic. I wanted to make a song that anybody could listen to in a bathroom at a party and it would just be exactly what you needed. So I am going to play that for you. But first, I want to give a shout out to this video's sponsor. Vsauce 2 is the cre- oh, wait. Vsauce 2 is the Create Unknown podcast. You want to know more information about it? Okay, yeah. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm kind of uh, a little overly obsessed with YouTube. Not in an unhealthy way, I don't think, but everything about like the industry itself is so interesting to me. That's something that I'm just fascinated by. The Create Unknown podcast, that's what they talk about. They talk about like the behind the scenes part of YouTube, the industry side of the internet. I will admit I had kind of started to get bored with podcasts in general, but then I stumbled upon this weirdly enough, like a couple of days before they reached out to me. I love YouTube, but even more than that, I love YouTubers and hearing their stories, hearing what it takes to make a video is something that I really enjoy. And if you enjoy that type of thing, then the Create Unknown podcast is the perfect thing for you. It's available literally anywhere that you listen to podcasts. Spotify, heck yeah. It's on YouTube, heck yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Vsauce 2's The Create Unknown. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. Vsauce, dude. Their links will be in the description as well if you wanna go check them out. I highly encourage it. And now I think it's time for the most emotional song of 2019. Please enjoy. <laughs> Oh 
party looking gnarly And I know that if you saw me you'd ignore me Fingers tied around a 40 feeling lonely Why you gotta act like that? Show up looking like a snack like that Claw marks on your back like that Made me think about what we had back then How come I couldn't save it? Maybe I should have waited But I was losing my patience I've been thinking about us I've been thinking about Listening to sad boy music Been a while since you broke my heart But every time you come around I lose it One little thought and I'm back to the start of it It's never better every night I do this Who'd have thought it would be so hard That's why I'm listening to sad boy music All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please go check out Vesislava's channel. She is so unbelievably talented and she was such a pleasure to work with. She's such a nice person. So please, please, please go check out her channel. She's got the music video posted over there too if you wanna just go watch that. And also I uploaded to my Patreon for free uh, the version that sounds like you're in a bathroom at a party. So if you wanna hear what it sounds like to listen to sad boy music in a bathroom at a party, I'll put the link in the description. I had a lot of fun with this one, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again to Vsauce2 for sponsoring this video. That is crazy to me still. I love you, you little struggle bugs, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>